Hello everyone, welcome to week four of Under Three with Family and Me. Now we are going to talk about spring, because the first day of spring just passed us by this 20th of March, okay? So we're gonna talk about spring today. And by the way, my name is Miss Cat, and I work at the Fort Mill Public Library. Make sure you pick up a take and make kit, uh, get your craft that goes along with the story time, as well as a book if you like with a theme to read about. Okay, so let's get started with our hello song, all right? Okay, here we go. Hello, 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 can you go? Hi, how high can you reach the sky? Hello, 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 can you go? Sit down, it's time to read and rhyme. Good job, so sit down on your um, bottom crisscross applesauce. We're gonna get ready to listen to our first story, okay? But let's get ready to listen with a stretch, okay? So as you're sitting down, can you lift those hands up high? Good. Go to the side. Lean one way. Now the other way. Circle those hands to your lap. Take a deep breath in. There you go. Shh. And now we're ready to listen to our first story, okay? It's by, um, it's called My Spring Robin. It's by Anne Rockwell. It's illustrated by Harlow Rockwell and it, Libby Rockwell. I wonder if they're related. And it's published, uh, I can't even talk today. It's published by Simon & Schuster. Thank you, Simon & Schuster, for giving us permission to read this lovely story. All right, here we go, little one. A robin sang a song for me every day last summer. I liked that robin. But in the fall, my robin flew away. My father said it would come back in the spring. So when spring came, March, I went looking for my spring robin. I saw a bee taking honey from a, a corcus, but I didn't see my robin. I looked into the yellow, the yellow bush, but my robin wasn't there. Ooh. My robin was not sitting high up in the branches of the magnolia tree. Oh, I love magnolia trees. In the fern garden behind our outdoor table, fuzzy fiddleheads were sprouting in the last year's wet brown leaves. Fiddleheads, that's a funny name for a flower. I like it. But I didn't see my robin there. I saw a tiny toad. It hopped behind a clump of daffodils to hide from me. Little toad ribbit. I looked high up to the sky to see if my robin was flying back to me, but drops of rain fell on my face and on our neighbor's cat and ran home. My cats don't like water either. After the shower, I picked a little bunch of purple violets for my mother. I watched the shiny earthworm wriggle up out of the ground. And then I heard it. I heard that song. Chirp, Shirley, chirp, Shirley, chirp, Shirley. And I knew who was singing that song. Can you guess who was singing that song? It was my spring robin. Hi, spring robin. See if he came back. What a cute little story. Okay, now we're gonna say goodbye to winter with a little movement. Goodbye winter, hello spring, okay? Here we go. Goodbye snow, can you tell the snow goodbye? Goodbye sled, goodbye winter. Can you jump with me? Spring's ahead. Hello sun, hello swing. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. Yay, good job. Okay, that was fun. Hello, spring. I'm so ready for the warmer weather. Okay, now let's get ready to listen again. So can you sit down, crisscross applesauce for me real quick, and then show me where your head is that you need to listen to the story. Show me your ears that you need to listen with. Your eyes that you're gonna look with. Can you blink them for me? Mm, yes. Show me your nose you smell with. Show me your mouth. We're gonna take a deep, deep, deep breath with. Here we go. Here we go. 
Now you're ready to listen to our next story, which is <gasps> Buzz Buzz Baby. <gasps> All the things spring in this book. And it's by Karen Katz, also illustrated by her, and it's also published by Simon & Schuster. Thank you again, Simon & Schuster. Here we go, Buzz Buzz Baby. Baby is looking for bugs. What will Baby find? What are those hiding on the windowsill? That's ready. <gasps> Lots of little ladybugs. Oh, I love little ladybugs. Apparently, if they land on you, it means good luck. What does Baby see behind the leaves? Mm, one, two, <gasps> three. <gasps> What is climbing up the web? Ooh. <gasps> Eek! An itsy bitsy spider! I like spiders. I'm a weirdo, I know. What is buzzing in a garden? Buzz, buzz, buzz. <gasps> busy, busy bees! Buzz, buzz. <gasps> Some critters are marching across the picnic table. <gasps> what are they? It's almost time for bed. And what does baby see glowing in the sky? Mm. <gasps> Flickering fireflies or lighting bugs. Depends on what you call them. Mm -hmm. Night, night, fireflies, lighting bugs. Hello, spring. All right. That was a cute story about all the bugs we're going to find, especially in the springtime. I've already seen a few ladybugs fall on me. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to do some marching, okay? It's kind of like, the song Bingo was a demo, except it's March, okay? So bear with me. So get those feet ready to go up and marching, okay? There is a month that spring starts in, and March is its name, oh. M-A-R-C-H, 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 and March was its name, oh. Let's do it again. There is a month that spring starts in, and March is its name, oh, M-A-R-C-H, 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 and March was its name, oh. Good job, round of applause. Okay, now we're gonna do a little story about flowers, but first you gotta sit down crisscross applesauce again, all right? You sit down, all right, give you a little bit of time. All right, time's up, I hope you're sitting, okay? Here we go. It's called Five Little Flowers, but first we gotta get, you know, ready to listen again, okay? So can you clap your hands three times? One, two, three. Excellent. Can you clap your hands two times? One, two. One time. Good. Both hands in your lap. Deep, deep, deep breath and deeper than before. Here we go. And now we're ready for five pretty flowers. All right, can you show me five things? Excellent. Five pretty flowers in the meadow grew. Hmm, I said, I bet they smell pretty too. So I bent down to sniff. Oh, it tickled my nose. Achoo! Oh no! A wave with one flower blows. Bye flower, and that leaves us with
Mmm. I said, I bet they smell pretty too. I bet y'all did too. It tickled my nose. Oh, ha, 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 shoo! Oh no, another flower blows. That leads us with how many flowers? One flower. Oh boy. One pretty flower in the meadow grew. Hmm, I said, I bet this one smells pretty too. I bent down to sniff. It tickled my nose. I, I never lose, I never, I never learn my lesson. Ha, 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 shoo! There, the last flower blows, and that leaves us with how many flowers? But don't you worry, because flowers can always grow back up again. All right, good job, that was fun. All right, so now we're gonna do another little song called April Showers, so follow along with me. All right. Pitter-patter rain drops. Can you make your fingers go down? Pitter-patter rain drops, <gasps> falling from the sky. Here's my umbrella, hold it high, get it high. When the rain is over, good, and the sun begins to glow. <gasps> Let's go over the ground. Little flowers start to bud, and then they grow, grow, grow. Let's do that again. Pitter-patter rain days, <gasps> falling from the sky. <gasps> Here's my umbrella, hold it high. And then when the rain is, ready, over, <gasps> the sun begins to glow. Little flowers start to bud and grow, grow, grow. Yay, great job, guys. Now we're gonna take this time to pause, do our little craft, if you have it. Uh, our springtime animals, you got your chicky, 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 and your bunny, okay? So you can pick uh, whatever's available at Fort Mill Winery. Take time to do this together. Read a story, any story that you have. Spend time as, uh, as a family. It doesn't have to be our book. It could be any book of your choice, okay? And then come on back because we got one more baby bounce and then our goodbye song, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your story and your craft time. So I got a little friend today. Who knows what kind of animal this is? That's right, it's a duck. All right. Not a flower, but he and I are gonna pretend to be a flower, okay? So if you got a wee little one at home, put the wee little one in your lap. If your wee little one's a little bit bigger, they can take the time to pause again, grab a stuffed animal of their choice, and bounce along with us. You ready, quackers? Quack. He's ready, okay? All right, here's my head. Can you show baby's head? Here's my nose. Where's baby's nose? Good. See my hands. Can you see your hands? <gasps> touch my toes. Can you touch baby's toes? <gasps> Hi, if they could go. <gasps> Wave them back and forth, to and fro. And like a flower, watch me grow, grow, grow. One more time. Here's baby's head, and here's baby's nose. Good. Here's baby's hands. Oh, touch baby's toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Reach up with my fingers, good. As high as they can go. <gasps> Wave them back and forth, to and fro. And like a flower, ready? Watch me grow, grow, grow. Yay, round of applause. Great job, okay? All right, thank you so much for joining me. Next week is gonna be week five. We're gonna talk about my favorite holiday, which is Easter, okay? So make sure you come back. We got another fun craft. Well, it's actually gonna be some goodies that go along with the story time, all right? So you don't want to miss it, okay? Well, let's sing our goodbye song, all right? Repeat after me. Goodbye to you. It's time to go. See you next week. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, everybody. Happy spring.